fellow pioneers. Welcome back to Sheriff Network. Guys, I noticed something very unusual. What I discovered is, whenever any new cryptocurrency is about to launch or just launched in the crypto market, everyone tries to find an expert in himself. You'll see that they'll begin by explaining various methods and bizarre logics that somehow prove that yes, they have predicted the final launch price of it. And surprisingly, people just blindly believe them. So what I said I noticed is that people have started bastardizing our beloved pie with some ridiculous and absurd prices. And that's making people beginning to think we are scam. Okay, guys, check out the price that this website is predicting for pie. The website is predicting that each pie will be worth about $314,000. Hold on, guys, let me show you what's more shocking. I'll give you a quick illustration. Listen, guys, there are 20 million people that have completed their KYC, and each user has received an average of 500 pies. Furthermore, if we multiply that by 20 million, we have 10 million pies, which are presently in the hands of the pioneers. So, if 10 billion were multiplied by 314,000, $159, which some guys are claiming each lie cost, then the cost to the total pie would be, I have no idea what number this is, 314-159-000000, blah, blah, blah. Common guys, this is excessively ridiculous. I personally disprove most of those claims, and I'm going to prove that further in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, as we proceed, I'll tell you the bitter truth that no one else is saying regarding this our beloved pie coin. In today's video, I'll be more strict, realistic, and straightforward. Therefore, fellas, brace yourself and stick with us till the very end. Uh, just before we get started, I advise you to like and subscribe to this video so you won't miss out on our future updates. So fellas, the hype is if you have a few Pi coins, you'll be extremely wealthy, since according to a website, Pi's price upon debut will be over $300,000. That's funny. The website specifies that the cost will be $314,159. What's more shocking though, on the internet, there are a number of people who assert that they have made real purchases using the Pi at this pricing. Additionally, they stated that they have proofs to back up their claims, which I personally believe some are truth, while some are not. So, the big question is, are all these transactions really taking place? Please don't get me wrong. I didn't say these transactions are not taking place. It's just that we need to be more sincere and honest with ourselves because it won't be nice for us to keep believing in things that are ridiculous. Actually, in some of my past videos, I also mentioned various transactions that were reported to be made using PyCoin, but that doesn't mean we should let overhypers spoil the reputation of our beloved Pi. So now let's get more serious. Will a slice of pie make you rich? Let's do the investigation together. As I previously mentioned, there are a number of people online who assert that they have paid their expenditures with Pi. Let me demonstrate a few of them. It appears from this image that they enjoyed their hotel meal. However, this is not what they are actually attempting to say. The main message they are conveying through this is that they are all holding their mobile phones with the Pi Networks application open and they are essentially demonstrating how they utilized the tokens they had mined to pay their expenses. Not all of these posts from the region of Vietnam have been published. As you can see, a man from Vietnam tweeted a photo of his pricey watch and said that he purchased it using Pi, which did cost him about 0.7 Pies. The price of the watch was roughly $2,200 in US dollars. You can see from these posts that he is not only displaying his watch, but also the documentation of the transactions he carried out using Pi. Additionally, he said, yes, one Pi is worth the sum I previously informed you. And as I just mentioned, the Pi network is a little more prevalent in Vietnam, which is why I'm making that claim. Well, it will be clarified in the following post. One of the craziest posts I've read thus far is this one. From this video, you guys can observe how obsessed the Vietnamese are with the Pi network. This is a little strange. In Vietnam, an auto dealership started taking payments in Pi. Utterly absurd, correct. 
Now, some viewers will naively assume that these are unquestionably false and true. You will now assert that the Pi Network has a sizable user base of more than 35 million people. Yes, we do. But if you dig a little bit deeper, you'll discover that there are roughly 20 to 25 Twitter groups dedicated just to promoting the Pi Network. They publish about the Pi Network every hour, portraying it as the greatest cryptocurrency ever. Once again, guys, don't get me wrong. Pi Network is fantastic, and I am also a pioneer myself. But common guys, isn't this ridiculous? And I'm not really sure who those individuals are. But I can state with certainty that you won't find any posts like this if you visit the Pi Network's official Twitter account. Regarding the Pi's price, there is no formal word. One thing I would advise is to not believe anyone who claims that this price will be the actual, final price of it until you receive an official statement or other form of announcement. And since there is no official announcement of the pricing or anything else, it is very evident that most of the shared posts are completely false. Not all, though. So, the question at hand now is, why are these folks making these posts? See, it's obviously just a strategy to inflate the enthusiasm surrounding the P9 network. I'm not sure if they are receiving anything in return for doing it, but I can state with certainty that it's going to do more harm than good to the Pi Network project. You see, the reason I'm protesting is that, given the fact that there are approximately 35 million people mining Pi, this price, or Leme say, value that most people are giving is obviously too exorbitant and unreasonable, and the open mainnet already uses the situations of this much pricing. Since everything is so expensive, can the Pi pay for or convert this money into fiat? Some claim that this scenario describes P's value during the open main net, and it is undeniable that our current reliance on fiat continues. The rumor of Pi Network's e-commerce website is another aspect of the company that is drawing attention to it and enticing people to visit it. You can buy items just like you would on Amazon, etc. So yes, however, you can make payments using the Network Pi's native token rather than some actual money. If I mention that specifically, when will the Pi token be listed? The project is now in its third phase, so there isn't a clear response to that. The primary net phase is that we, the 35 million pioneers, remain in anticipation. The last time coins were traded was on September 7, 2022. The Pi coin is still unavailable for purchase for the portfolio. Only when the main net blockchain is accessible, Will users who have mined the Pi cryptocurrency be able to exchange or withdraw their coins? During testing, Pi cannot be exchanged in its entirety. This has been done, according to the official website, to stop phony accounts from gaining Bitcoin. When Pi transitions from development mode to become a fully live network, wallet balances should be honored. As a result, the coin is not yet accessible for trading on any exchange or trading platform for cryptocurrencies. Additionally, price performance will be entirely dependent on the project's development after it launches for trade, as well as other factors including the impact of market sentiment. So yeah, that's all I have in this video for you. I sincerely hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, please show your support by giving it a like. Simply click the thumbs up button below to express your approval. And then let us know what you think of Pine Network. We'll stop here for now. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also, if you have any business proposal, kindly check out the email in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.